Well, hello everyone. A long time no see. <laughs> I am back with yet another haul video. Uh, this is my third video today that I am recording. Well, actually the first one was a live haul. Then I recorded a craft video. Now I am recording a uh, haul video from an estate sale that I went to this past Saturday. I got some really neat items, so I'm pretty excited to show you what I got. I spent like 130-ish dollars, and everything is behind me here on the floor. I'm sure you could see some of the stuff here. So um, let's get into it. Um, let me see. Well, let me start with this. I got this awesome set of 1970s canisters. They are in excellent condition. They are all in here. They stack very nicely. Huh. So there's the second size. So we have coffee, flour, or I'm sorry, flour, sugar, coffee, and tea. Uh, there, there's like very little, if any, paint loss at all on these canisters. There's no cracks. They are in excellent, excellent condition. Um, there was another set of plastic canisters that were yellow. Um, they were older than these, but they had a lot of wear and uh, one or two of them had um, some cracks. So I just left those there. But um, I was very happy to get these. All right. You know me and my plastic fruit. I love plastic fruit. To me, it looks very real, especially the grapes. Look at these grapes. These are amazing. I love plastic grapes. I know, I have issues. What can I say? Look, we have more. We have this little bunch we have this big bunch. Look it. You cannot tell me that those don't look real. The other plastic stuff, not so much. But plastic grapes, absolutely. I got the basket and all this fruit. We have um, a plum. I'm very sorry for the lighting. I had to close my living room blinds because it was blasting reflection on my glasses really bad. So in order to film where all the stuff was, I had to close the blinds and put on a ring light. So if the lighting is not that great, my apologies. Uh, what else is in here? We have a plastic banana. And it does say something on here. What does it say? Uh, I don't know. I cannot read it without the magnifying glass. We have a cheesy looking apple. We have a peach. We have a lemon and a pear. And an orange. I mostly got it for the grapes. I don't, and I don't really care about the basket, so that'll probably get donated. But there you have it, five bucks. Okay, um, I got some linens, let me show you. 
Oh dear. I got this beautiful box of hankies. Um, it's in a it's a plastic container. Uh, it was a dollar for all of these hankies. And they're in different colors. We have blue, we have pink, we have this uh, pattern. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look how pretty. And we have this one. Brand new, new old stock. So we got one, two, five hankies for a dollar. How are you gonna beat that? So we got that. It's very windy, so um, if you hear that noise, it's my uh, the fan above my stove. When it's really windy, it, it catches it outside and it makes that noise. I also bought some brand new uh, kitchen towels. We have um, two pink ones and a blue one. Whoops. Then we have Look at that. OMG. Look at that. I would call this a dessert apron. <laughs> I think that is awesome. Then we have this one. Very cute, just little checked with the pocket. Nice long uh, ties. Very, very cute. I love looking through the linens. We have this one. This one is an over the head one. Look at, isn't this awesome? How cute is that? Very nice for spring. It's got nice long ties. Nice, nice apron. I don't even see any uh, stains or anything on it. It's got a pocket on the front. It's perfect. Perfect. Then I got two um, new in the package per kale uh, flat sheets for a double bed. They're white. And I mean, brand new, new old stock. 100% cotton, fine combed per kale sheet. A, a supremely soft, fine combed, well balanced weave, <laughs> smooth texture, tape salvages, neat hems, negligible shrinkage. So there you have it. Brand new old stock. Two white flat sheets. I was hoping one would have been a um uh one was a flat and one was a fitted, but it's looking like they're both flat sheets. Of course, it doesn't say on the package. You would think it would say what kind of sheet it is. Double bed. It doesn't say if it's flat. So, I'm assuming they're flat because they don't feel like fitted. It doesn't feel like there's like bunchy in here where there would be elastic. So we got that. Then I got this beautiful fall tablecloth. This is going to fit my table in my kitchen. Uh, look how pretty this is. 
I love it. And look at the edges. Little scalloped edging. It's just so pretty. I love it. So we got that for me. Um, and I think that was it for linen. So let me get this out of the way. Um, then I purchased <laughs> one vintage Christmas item. Check this out. It's great. Isn't it great? <laughs> Made in China. I don't know how old it is, but yes, it is. It is that tacky plastic Christmas. <laughs> then I got two Halloween um, decorations. Not vintage, really, but this one's got some tape on there. Get that off. Um... Two Suncatcher pumpkins. I love these. So we got those. Uh, I got some useful stuff for myself. I bought some packages of sponges for a quarter a piece. Heck yeah, all day long, a quarter a piece. Hey, quit chewing that. No, get out of there. No, Mama said. No. No chewing the, the plastic, <laughs> Sophie. Um, then I got two boxes of toothpicks. Uh, all right. Then I got... Uh, this black rotary phone cord. Uh, I believe every now and again, I'll run across a black rotary phone. And I always like to buy the cords uh, because a lot of the time the cords are like shot. So anytime I find rotary phone cords, I buy them. I got two, um, whoops, two old sucrets. Uh, tins. <laughs> oh, that one's upside down. They had a bunch of little quarter boxes, you know, so that's where I got those. Then I got this really cool vintage little beaded change purse. Look how cute that is. I remember these. Look at that. <laughs> um, and then... I got this old pin cushion. I believe it's supposed to be a, a tomato or is it a strawberry? I don't know. I thought they were supposed to be tomatoes, but I don't know. This looks like a strawberry. Okay. Um, then I found this really pretty uh, vintage purse. It's just a black clutch purse. It has the pretty uh, rhinestone on the opening. It has a handle. And it's very clean inside. Um, it doesn't have any maker's mark on here that I see. But it's a really, really nice uh, purse. So that... Um, oh, I had to get this. Oh, my goodness. These are the best ever close pin bags. Um, I have a newer one and I hate it. I would much rather have one of these old vintage ones. These are just awesome. And you could see that somebody handmade this. I mean, it looks like, you know, they went to Cheech and Chong's van and stole the trim out of their window. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
<laughs> I just crack myself up, you know? Um, all right. So I bought some smalls. Let me bring them over here so I don't have to keep, I have like stuff behind me here. And let me bring it more forward so I can get at it. And I don't have to keep turning around. Oh my goodness. Okay. So um, I did buy, these are Fenton. Uh, these two beautiful rose boots. They have cabbage roses on them. They are beautiful. Um, they are Fenton. Uh, I don't know if you could see it, but it says it on the bottom there in an oval, but probably not. And um, I don't see any cracks or chips or anything on these. These are beautiful. Then I got um, this set. They're both, I, no, they're not exactly the same. Yes, they are. These two. Now, this one was broken and glued, which I didn't notice until just now. Um, but it is this beautiful bird. Look at the colors. And it's a little bud vase. Uh, this is Royal Copley. It says it right on the bottom there. Um, so I have another one that's exactly the same, but as you can see, his tail was busted and glued back on, unfortunately. So this is pretty much, you know, I mean, it could still be used, but it looks like crap because they didn't do a very good glue job. So I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it. But it is what it is. All right, then I found some Occupied Japan pieces. We have these two uh, fellas. They're looking pretty dapper in their ruffles and their spaghetti trim. Their royal blue jackets. Uh, here's the Occupied Japan on the bottom. So I got those. And these are in good shape. There's no issues with those. Yeah, they're good. Got another um, Occupied Japan. This lovely little couple hanging out on a tree stump, discussing life, maybe marriage. She's got her arm around him. <laughs> It is occupied Japan. These I love. I think these are very cool. Um, these are Geo Z Lefton, and their stickers are pretty much almost gone. But look at these. Love, love, love them. This little guy, I think, is probably uh, flies in a plane, an aviator, I would say, and she is maybe in the service, not sure, but um, this is the bottom. And these are in good condition, no issues there, no, uh, no gluing or anything like that. So that's a plus. Um, I picked up this other Avon piece that my mom used to have, the uh, Rapture Collection. This is the little cream sachet. It still smells, but there's nothing in it. But I, I wanted it to go with the other ones that I have that go to the collection. This one is a look-alike. Uh, it is not Avon. However, this is uh, Cody. Emerald by Cody. Remember that perfume? So this is uh, going to also go with it. 
Um, I did get a couple pieces of jewelry too. Let me just show you these salt and pepper shakers. These are really cute. They're dirty. I got to clean them up. This one has the plug shaking around in the bottom. Is that a plug or is that like salt or something? I can't tell because this one has a plastic plug. So I'm not quite sure. But uh, let me show you the jewelry. I got this really pretty vintage Christmas pin. That is really pretty. And it actually has a picture. It's either Mary. I think it's Mary on the back on the one petal. Can you see that? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Then I got this necklace. I just thought it was really cool. Hang on. Let me fix it. There it is. It's got these little dangle things on it. It reminds me of the Kanakers, those balls that we used to play with. Just a really cool necklace. I like it. And then I got this really pretty necklace. Rhinestone necklace. Let me... Hang on, it's stuck. Uh, okay, let's hook it. All right, so looks like that. And then I got the, uh, the matching earrings. They're the screw back ones. So we got that. Then I got, what's that? Oh, okay. Let me grab this. I got this awesome juice decanter. It's made by Pyrex. That's a really nice one, especially since it has the lid. I mean, the lid has a little bit of wear on the top, but it's in excellent shape, really. This whole thing is in great condition, just needs a good washing. No chips or anything. So we got that. Uh, I found this Amberina bowl. Um, I don't know if this is, I don't, I can't tell if this is, if this is, um, oh my gosh. If it's sprayed on, you know what I mean? I can't think of the word. Um, no, not airbrush. This is a gorgeous bowl. And I'll bet you any money it, it glows. I can't tell uh, if it's... Um, <laughs> it was just there and it left. Flashed. I don't know if it's flashed on or if this is the actual glass. I believe that this is the actual glass. This is a gorgeous bowl. Beautiful. I gotta stretch my leg out for a second. Um, I did get this uh, plate. San Francisco. That's a really nice plate right there. And I got this plate. Uh, this was uh, hand painted in Italy. That is a really, really nice piece. Here's the back. Uh, no chips. No cracks. Somebody wrote, I don't know what that says on the back. It looks like it says donor or I don't know. 
but I mean, that is a beautiful plate. I got two pieces of Corningware of blue corn flour. These are in excellent condition. Two beautiful casseroles with the lids. I mean, excellent condition. This one is a one and three quarter quart. And this one is probably a one quart. Got the lid. It just says eight inch. An eight inch casserole. It's probably like maybe three quarters of a quart, a quart, I don't know. But it's number um, P9B. P9B. All this from the burner will come off with a barkeeper's friend and a Mr. Clean magic eraser. Sometimes it just comes off with the magic eraser. But I mean, the insides are like, doesn't even look like they were used. So, the blue corn flour cording wear is a good seller. Um, all right, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty. All right, I did purchase this and it is, um, it is damaged. Little story about this piece. I, I just walked in and I couldn't see a thing because I had the stupid mask on and my glasses were fogged up. I'm trying to look at the piece to see if there's anything wrong with it and I can't see I'm trying to take the glasses off and I can, can't can see, um, I can see worse without the glasses. <laughs> so anyways, I just grabbed it and got it. And lo and behold, we have a broken arm. Yep, the arm was broken and re-glued back on, but they did a pretty good job. And this is really a nice piece. I mean, what is that? Oh, there's a, a hat pin rolling around in here that I'll have to get out at some point. But anyway, yeah. So here's the lid. I mean, it is. It's really a pretty piece. And it still could be used because nobody's even going to notice that his arm was repaired. So I got it. So there's that. Now, these are amazing. There is no issue with either one of these pieces. Now, I, I'm i not very familiar with Andrea by Sadek. So if you guys could tell me if this is her, because it does say Andrea, and it does have an S. So perhaps, I'm not sure. But we have this guy. He's got some serious red lipstick on. And then we have his girlfriend. And I mean, they're in perfect condition. The rose is in perfect condition, no petals missing. Yeah, and they're both Andrea, I'm thinking, Sadek, but it says um, made in Japan, I don't know. So somebody please let me know. So I got those. And then I got my last two items, pardon me. Um, I got this pretty set of bedroom lamps. They're that pretty, uh, kind of like, I'm pretty sure these are flashed, um, pink. So 
their clear glass with the pink paint flashed on and it looks quilted and they're really in great condition and they work. These are the original cords. So I got those. And the last thing I got, because these, um, I was watching uh, Will from Will's Thrifting Ventures. And um, he said that these uh, tend to sell pretty well online. And I paid six bucks for it. And it's this awesome Sunbeam electric fry pan. And as you can see, it's really in excellent condition. There's the inside. It still has the instruction booklet with it. Um, it was purchased in 1965. 1965. At Gent's Department Store. It has the plug. I mean, it is it. Look at that. It's in excellent condition. It just needs to be washed because it's got, um, like, grass or something in it from a decoration. <laughs> but, I mean, guys, look at the condition. I don't think it was ever used. I mean, like, rarely. You can't beat it. And they sell for about $25, $30 on eBay. I have one. And, actually, this one is in better condition than the one I have. So I'm thinking, dang, maybe I'll just swap them out and sell the other one, you know? So I might do that. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I mean, you can't beat it. Six bucks. Uh, and that's it. That's everything, guys. Uh, I think I did pretty well. I got some really great items. Um, I think... I don't know. I like everything I got. But I think my favorite are these two. I think these are really, really cool. So, let me know what you guys think. So, I just made a cake. I'm waiting for it to cool because I am fiending for some chocolate. So I made a chocolate bundt cake and I can't wait for it to cool off so I can frost it and have a piece. <laughs> yeah, so much for the diet. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's going to do it. This is video number three for today. I am videoed out. All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.